almost make predictions and then never admit they're wrong. Yeah, that's not Mackie and Judd. This is the place where we just totally own our horrible predictions. Write this down. And eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Write that down. It's Write That Down. Write it down. You like writing things down. With Mackie and Judd. All right, welcome in. They're doing fire alarm testing here inside the uh, oh. Mackie building. So we got... Oh. Maya oh, Mackie. Maya, Maya Mackie's a little, a little scared. Listen to this. You hear this? It's not too bad, though. It's not. <laughs> it's, not it's not that bad. bad. It's not, not that bad. <laughs> it's it's Kirk Crusaders. Try it's to time for write that. May I have your attention, please? It's time for write well, that down. This is the new write that down. Your building so excited <laughs> by it. The whole it's building's just, got Vikings predictions for yep, us today. Like, yeah, they're like, okay, here's Sarah <laughs> from Seven C. <laughs> Sarah's got some hot takes on. Oh my god! On the Delvin Tomlinson contract, and she situation. hates you because she's a crusader. Well, I remember. I fe- I feel like. Uh... <laughs> See, like this. Okay, at what point? This is the third time. <laughs> well, did you say? Should I evacuate, or do you think no, it's a you test? Stay, stay, stay. If it's Actually, a, if it's a regular test, you stay. You don't move. I don't know, though. I feel like they sent an email warning us about this at some point. Like, we're going to test fire alarms. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't want to I don't just probably... be sitting in here if the building's on fire. Well, You'll how... be fine. You're on what... ground level. Yeah, what what floor? So are, are you on the ground? Ground level, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. You'll be okay. You know okay. what? Call the building say, shut that crap off. I'm doing right that down. Yeah, I've got some hot takes here, okay? If you could just hold <laughs> off for, like, for, like, for so like two hours. You might be in a burning building right now and you might have to take the dog and literally walk out the door oh i don't even know what to do all right tcl by the way is an official partner of the nfl and of us here on purple daily one of the world's best-selling consumer electronics brands they have a new lineup of award-winning tvs delivering the most entertainment with stunning resolution all at an affordable cost enjoy more of the things you love with tcl and learn more at (laughs) tcl.com I have hot takes. <laughs> Write this down. That's what's happening. The voice generator has takes too. Amazing. Um, all right. Well, we're going to try and power through this, and uh, I may burn in a fire here during this episode. So stay tuned to write that down. On the Purple Crusaders Day. might not be all that upset. With Some of them might be actually planning this, is my guess. All right, so here's how this works. Three Vikings or football-related predictions from everybody each week. They must be quantifiable. We keep track of completion percentage and touchdowns. That's right. We're the only show in America that actually keeps track. <laughs> Declan, you tell the audience how yeah. this works. Yeah, uh, three football predictions. We track completion percentage. We track touchdowns. And listeners, if you want to participate, send us a message through the Score North app. We actually have some openings coming up in April, so if you want to be on a write that down edition of Purple Daily or Mackie and Judd, shoot me an email. You can also DM me uh, through the Score North app or through my Twitter page at Dex Tweets. All right, you want right. me to run through this accountability? Do you, do you got it? I don't know. I think why don't why don't you, I'll, I'll be here in the background. I'm going to keep my uh, microphone off, and you go ahead and run through. I'm sort okay. of enjoying the in- entertainment <laughs> of the alarm. I mean, come on, how often do it's we get a great. guest alarm? It's pretty uh, good. Oh my gosh! I'll I'll do my best. I'll run through this accountability. Phil will just hit the next button on his keyboard, I guess, to uh to transition. I think that'll work just fine. All right, Judd. Two things off the board. It looks like you said either Tyler Scott or Trey Tucker will run the fastest forty yard dash at the combine. It uh it was neither of those guys. Both from the Cincinnati Bearcats. That's um, right. I I was let down by both. I'm not happy with them. Uh, you said Danny Dimes will play yeah. on the franchise tag next year. The GM regretted it. He literally just said, I wish we would have just done that two years ago whenever you would have No, the uh, fifth the last year, year option. I mean. No, they, they right. didn't even pick up the option. It's going to be Saquon Barkley on the franchise tag. Amazing. So 0 for 2. Not a, or a little bit of a bad week for Judd. For old Macadac, though, we got a completion. He said at some point before March 15th, there will be a credible report that the Vikings have engaged in contract extension discussions with Kirk. So Quasi confirmed this himself. I was about to say. Quasi was asked about uh, contract, and he basically laid out, well, you know, Kirk's camp wants this. We want that. And we will see where those discussions go. Cousins Crusaders unite. Cousins Crusaders unite. 
Oh my god. Cousins Crusaders assemble in the lobby. There was a negative tweet from Score North. That's right. Assemble. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Uh you also though said Phil, Derek Carr to the Carolina Panthers. Right division, wrong team. Mm. Oof. Oof. Uh nothing off the board for the listeners. Quiet week for the listeners. Uh for Dex tweets. Uh, I said the next mock from Todd Father or Mel Kuyper, whichever comes first. The Vikings will take a wide out. They did not. It was a cornerback, Deontay Banks. Oh, this is a bad beat. Uh, A.J. McCarron throws at least two touchdowns, leads the Battle Hawks to a win. A.J. McCarron balled out four touchdowns, but he did not lead his team to a win over San Antonio. However, nice little uh, completion here. I said Derek Carr will sign with an NFC South team. I did a... Was able to get something on the board at least. Uh, so the 2022 statistics, Phil Mackey leading early on here. We're just a couple weeks into the season. Phil Mackey with a 50% completion percentage, 25% for me. Nothing on the board yet for uh, Judd or the listeners that have hit and no touchdowns in our career statistics. I, of course, lead 35.1 uh, completion percentage. Phil, though, leading the touchdown race at 33 touchdowns. All right, let's get our uh, guy Dwayne in here, who's probably just like, what is this great professional nightmare that is Purple Daily that's taking place on Write That Down? But he's, he's been patient. Dwayne, welcome to the show. I'm having a blast. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, uh, well, this is a behind-the-scenes look at one of the big professional sports media operations in Minnesota. You're getting right here. There's no alarms, too. Congratulations, you've passed the no alarm test, Wayne. <laughs> Dwayne, when did you become a Vikings fan? What's your Vikings fan background? As, as far as I remember, my dad's a Vikings fan. I'm I'm from South Dakota, so we don't really have pro teams to root for. Kind of just have to pick one of the neighboring states. Then, Amazing, uh, and, and you yeah. stumbled and you stumbled into this masochism that is uh, Vikings fandom. And I was mm. born in '97, so I pretty much had nothing but heartbreak. Yeah. Oof. So your yeah. first conscious Vikings memories are probably like oh, the Brad the Brad oh, Childress was, oh, era. Oh nine was my oh nine yeah. was my first one. Yep. Mm. They always get you. They, whatever generation you mm. are, there's always there's That's always fun. that first point where they tap dance all over your heart. You know? I actually uh, I went to a football camp in Mitchell, South Dakota that Chad Greenway put on when I was yep. a kid, and yep. they got an Adrian Peterson poster, and what felt like the seventh fumble that Adrian Peterson had that day. I ran into my room, tore it down, tore it up, threw it in the trash. Oh, I love the passion. It, <laughs> my my wife can can speak to it. I'm pretty salty when those bad moments happen. All right. The good moments are, are pretty damn good too. Love it, man. All right, so here's how this is going to work. Dwayne, you're going to be under center first. We're going to go around the room, one prediction at a time, uh, three laps each, so... Fire away, man. What is your first Vikings or football or show-related prediction? All right. First prediction. Write this down. The Minnesota Vikings, at the end of the draft this year, will have selected exactly eight players. So I'm basically saying they're going to get some trades up there. Yeah, that's a whole, that's a touchdown, right? Yeah. He's, a, a, exactly oh, eight yeah. draft mm -hmm. selections. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Love it, love it. All right. Write this down. All right, over to Judd. All right, I'm going to jump on the uh, Kirk Cousins credible report train with this one. There will be a credible report this offseason that the Vikings and Kirk Cousins have discussed the possibility of the quarterback being traded because mm -hmm. he's got the complete no trade, so he would obviously have to uh, have to be involved if he was to waive it. Uh, I would say that the end of this can be the end of the draft. So the, the expiration date, so I think by the time we get to – during if it doesn't occur by the end of the draft, it comes off, it comes off the board as wrong. Okay, so um, what are you thinking here? Are you thinking they kind of hit a stalemate in the yeah. in the contract discussions, or or do you think? Well, I guess you said by the end of the draft. I was going to say, do you think he gets offended by like the drafting of a quarterback? But you're you're saying this would happen sort of before. Yeah, no, I think he gets. I think that they reach a point where he's going after another multi year fully guaranteed contract they're not interested in that um as the market continues to be set and look there are some teams that would clearly pay for Kirk Cousins yeah. so yeah I, I think it's more of a 
a breakdown in the talks th- than it is them drafting quarterback. Okay. All right, Write Dex. Write it down. You like writing things down. All right. This has not happened yet, and I want this on the board ASAP. Harrison Smith's contract will be reworked between now and the next 48 hours. Oh, my. And he'll remain a Viking. So, the so we're going to timestamp this 10.52 a.m. Central Time Yep. on Friday. Correct. Is your deadline. Okay. So he'll have his contract reworked between now and the next 48 hours, and he'll remain a Viking. Okay. Interesting. I like it. Okay. Write it down. Right. You like writing things down. Write this down. I think this is headed toward a, an Aaron Rodgers, just off the record. It kind of feels like the Jets flirtation is real, and the Packers are not doing much to to beg him to stay, right? So write this down. Jordan Love will throw at least two interceptions in his first game against the Vikings in 2023. Wow, I think I think the old uh, the old zero coverage Brian Flores aggressive defense is going to fluster Jordan Love as a as a first year starter. So two interceptions or more in the first game against the Vikings for Jordan Love in 2023. Let's get out and write it down. You like writing things down. All right, Dwayne, back to you. All right, so piggybacking off my first one. So to get one of those extra picks. Write this down. Ezra Cleveland will not be on the uh, the roster for the first week of the season. He's going to get traded. Um, that's off the record, I think. Uh, he's going to get traded for like picks this year. Um, but yeah, okay. that's my prediction. So, so your, your prediction is that Ezra Cleveland will be traded? Is that just to be yes, clear? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's one that no one's really talking about, but this is the last year of his contract. You know, he's good, not great, good run blocker, kind of questionable pass protection. He's, is he a guy that you're going to give a long-term extension to at this point? Probably not. Does he I, want to play guard? Play he might out. He might want to play tackle. That's where he was drafted. Yeah. So, interesting. All right, Judley, back to you. Write this down. Uh, over to Judd. Adam Thielen, write this down, will be a former Viking by 5 p.m. Friday. Hmm. Adam Thielen will be a former Viking, no longer a member of the organization by 5 p.m. Friday. Mm. Big changes afoot. Are you surprised that more moves haven't happened since the Eric Kendricks move? Or do you think do you think they have a bunch of ducks lined up here? Yeah, I think they do. It just it feels a little too quiet. The Eric Kendricks thing came right. out, it was very well planned. They had it was they right. clearly had planned it like the end of the week before. I think Eric gets. Um, I think Eric got a very nice send off and a standalone because Eric was a good sport about it. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know that ev- everyone else. I don't. I don't want to name names. I don't know that everyone else has been as good a sport about it, and therefore I think they could go quickly. Well, and the but the, you know, I guess with the Kendricks thing, he wasn't really given like a say in it, right? He was just released. They, I don't right. think they approached him about a, a restructure or, or yeah. You know, I don't think they were negotiating with him. It sounds like they kind of are with Thielen, right? That they're yeah. it, like, it's okay. Would you play for less money? No. Yeah. Or I would play for less money, but your idea of less money and my idea of less money are not equal. And the Kendricks thing might be just, I, I think the fact that Thielen is asking for a bigger role and like trying to get more, I think, you know, the, the Kendricks thing was pr- probably just, uh, it creates, it makes too much space to let him go his plays decline he'll play elsewhere and then he, he gets the nice 9 a.m monday crisp sheet of paper press release so everyone can celebrate him i i think there's a chance off the record with this prediction i think there's a good chance that Thielen gets the same type of press release on friday morning do you think uh it, but do you think it's going to be well, you're kind of saying it's on bad terms do you think well, they're going to do like what wwe thing. does which is just we wish adam Thielen well in his future <laughs> endeavors no i think they'll make it look good a nice graphic on Instagram look, or something. It'll look petty if if they they don't. Oh, yeah. there there's Maya behind you. Oh, she's stretching she's been, out. She's been like going back and forth. For oh, the last five well, minutes yeah. I mean, she's, a, she heard cutie. the evacuation messages, and I don't she's blame like, her. "No, what a cutie going on here, man." We, the, we love our dogs here, so yes, awesome. we do. All right, Dex, what's your next prediction? All right, speaking of Kendricks, write this down. Vikings fans will not like this, but Eric Kendricks will sign with an NFC North team. Oh wow. He will sign with the Bears, Lions, or Packers. So he will so, sign with an NFC North oh team. Some veteran uh, leadership for that Bears defense? 
mm-hmm. continuing a, a tradition of great linebackers. Maybe Mike's a little Man military. Campbell. You want Man Cam- the former linebacker sinking his teeth into Eric Kendricks, helping to turn around that horrible defense. Huh? Well, the Lions could use there. they could use some better leadership on defense in Detroit. A little revenge game for for Eric Kendricks. Very interesting. Write this down. Um, okay. Um, wow. There's so many Vikings things. I'm gonna say um, write this down. The Vikings will not draft a quarterback in the 2023 draft. Okay. I just have a weird gut feeling. <laughs> as, uh, disagree. My disagree my completely. She's like, no, you disagree. idiot. They're going to take one. Um, I just have a feeling. I, I don't think they're going to trade up 15 spots. I don't think one of those four quarterbacks is going to wind up falling in, into their laps. And I don't know that. I think if they're going to take a shot on a quarterback, I don't think it's going to be a third round flyer again. I think they're going to take their shot in the first round at some point. And that, and if that's not this year, it would be next year. So I'm going to say they don't draft a quarterback in this year's draft. Write it down. Write this down. All right. All right. Back to uh, Dwayne, your final prediction. All right. So my final prediction. So I, uh, I drink the purple Kool-Aid, but I also fancy myself some red Kool-Aid. Just oh no, he's got the big the big came out of nowhere. Nebraska. So, this came out of nowhere. No, dude, no. Yeah. So my prediction, <laughs> Matt Rules, Nebraska Cornhuskers will go up to Huntington Bank Stadium and they will hand the Gophers an L by 14 points. The Huskers will eat up the Gophers. Wow, dude. So can we go 14 points or more? So that you're, or do you want to say Yeah, at, at okay. least 14. So, 14, so they're gonna yeah. they're gonna blow out the Gophers. Yeah. Is Matt okay, is so you've been a Husker fan for life, I'm guessing? Yeah. So is that program, I mean, you're probably going to, like Matt Rule, you think is going to turn the, my question is that program has been dormant basically on a national level for like 20 years. Is it too far gone at this point? Or can Matt Rule bring I them back to the glory days? I'm, I'm more worried about Matt Rule staying there more than like three years. That's oh, okay. my concern. Okay. I don't know that the NFL is going to come calling again for Matt Rule, but maybe he uses it as a college springboard or something. So, all right, Dwayne, good stuff, man. Well, since you've got this life-changing platform here on Purple Daily, is there anyone you'd like to thank that helped bring you to this pinnacle moment? Well, I got to say, I, I say thanks to uh, my wife. Uh, I kind of told you one story about me being salty when bad Vikings things happen, but, you know, she's always there, whether it's making fun of me or consulting. That's love it, man. That's awesome. Love it. Love it. All right, Dwayne, great stuff. Good luck with your predictions, and uh, we'll get you on again sometime, all right? Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. There he is, Vikings fan, Purple Daily listener, Dwayne. Uh, Judd, what's your third and final prediction? My third and final prediction, um, with all due respect to Declan, is also an Eric Kendricks prediction. Eric Kendricks will sign with either the Chargers or the Rams. He will go home. He is a UCLA, California kid. Uh, he will go to the Chargers or the Rams. I hmm. originally had that, and then I was like, "No, I want to. I want to be a little vengeful here. I'm gonna maybe piss off some of the masses. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pull the Zolgadian route." And yeah, I thought of the NFC Packers North but team. I, he, I think he's going to embrace the opportunity to go home. Speaking of uh, our favorite restaurant, free advertising, Red Rabbit. Eric Kendricks fancies himself. I saw him numerous times at the Red Rabbit. So he, does he, will, he just he belly up alone, or is he? Does he usually? So he, have, he usually like, has a beers, this collection of beers. Yeah. There, there was one time I saw him walk across the patio, about, bitching about Zimmer yeah. Yeah. to the bartenders. One time I saw him walk uh, out of the patio and then in, into the uh, very prominent store that's across the street uh, from the Red Rabbit there on Second Avenue. It's much smaller now, though. That prominent store. That store used smaller. to take up the whole side of the block. Now yeah, it's just it's, a little nook and cranny. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but I think I know. Write this down. All right, Dex, what's your final prediction? Staple of the community, by the way, if I may say so myself. Been there forever. I'm going to go back to the A.J. McCarron well here. So I got beat last week because I thought the team would win, but he balled out for four touchdowns. So I'll say this instead. A.J. McCarron will account for at least three touchdowns this week in the XFL. The XFL. So AJ McCarron, uh, three t- accounts for at least three touchdowns. So whether that's okay. a rushing and passing, I want the three touchdowns. So AJ McCarron, three touchdowns this week. He's having a nice little. I wonder to what extent the XFL, 
So are, are some of these XFL guys going to then go and play in the USFL? Or is it two separate batches of players? How does that work? Two that separate I have, batches. I yeah, believe. I think Declan's right, but I'm not, not sure. Now, the USFL just did a draft. Tanner Morgan. Yeah, I know. Gotcha. So they've got some guys that definitely are. I, I did see a quote from McCarran saying that he could have signed as a backup with an NFL team, but he wants his kids to actually see him play. Mm-hmm. And so it's more fun to play. But I I don't know now if, if he's good. Is this going to get him a shot as a backup? Does he even care now? That's Judd, you, you have a prediction from a couple of years ago, I think, that Adrian Peterson will play in the XFL. Do you think that... So Peterson's gotten into that boxing. Was the original, that, that, that was the one that Vince had. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, the prediction yeah. still stands at this yeah. point. Yeah. Oh, Do you I think, think he would? Those guys make like oh, fifty yeah. or $60,000, so it's like you're not making NFL money. But I think he's you're broke. Just, yes. I do. He'd probably get paid more for another boxing match, though, wouldn't he? Probably. I don't know. Maybe that I could be see my his next desperation. Prediction. I could see his desperation leading to a stint in either the XFL or the USFL. I could okay. see that. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a Tanner Morgan USFL prediction there since, we're, since we're on. Tanner Morgan will have a multi-touchdown game at some point this season in the USFL. Write it down. Who's his team, Phil? No idea. Zero clue. I believe Couldn't he was drafted by the Michigan Panthers. That's a great organization. Long legacy. Organization is a Great front hockey. office. Uh, very tough-minded football team. Write this down. So there you great have coach it. Great coach, too. Yeah. Uh, all right, boys. Um, let's talk about – let's do I, – I have overthecap.com. Up right now, I've got the overthecap calculator here. Cool. Now that Eric Kendricks is gone, I think we should put our front office hats on and we should do some slicing and dicing. We've done this a couple times since the end of the, the, the regular season in the playoffs. And find ways for them to get from 16 million in cap space, uh, or they're 16 million over the cap, and find out sort of like what what are some of the moves that could be made here mm-hmm. now that the first domino has fallen. So we're gonna we're gonna fire up this calculator presented by our friends at Livia, helping Purple Daily listeners lose a lot of weight over the past couple of years. They have in, indeed, in, in fact, a year plus now ago, I dropped 40 pounds. Look at the guy on the left. That guy was a little bit heavier, a little bit chunkier. Really? Look at the guy on the right. Man, does he look debonair and suave. And you know what? <laughs> he deserves no wow. credit. All debonair, the credit. Debonair, that's a word. And suave. And all the credit goes to my friends at Livia Weight Control Centers. And the most important thing I said there was Livia Weight Control Centers. This isn't a diet. It's not a quick fix. This is a lifestyle change. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, dropping the weight is as simple as it gets. And here's the best part. The dietitians will help you, their team of experts, keep that weight off. In fact, you, you can drop up to 10 pounds in your first two weeks, and then you are off to the races. The new you, imagine when you know spring gets here, summer, and you are trimmed down and all those clothes that perhaps haven't fit of late, all of them fit and you feel great. And then you keep the weight off. Join today. You get eight weeks for free. Voted Minnesota's best weight loss program. Again, eight weeks for free if you join today. 855-GO-LIVIA, Livia, L-I-V-E-A dot com. That is your ticket. That is your number one draft pick to weight loss. Nice. Uh, well, your number one draft pick for a, a great insurance partner, if you're a business owner out there, is Federated. Federated's been around for over 100 years, like a great offensive line for your business, helping business owners navigate the waters that can be choppy sometimes, smooth other times. You never know. Federatedinsurance.com to find a full list of industries that they lean into and also uh, other tools and resources. Federated, where it's our business to protect yours. So for the YouTube audience here on the Purple Daily YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button and the like button. We just brought the uh, over the cap calculator up on the screen. So uh, if this is information overload, we apologize. We will talk you through this. But as you can see, the Vikings are currently $16 million over the cap after the Eric Kendricks cap relief cut. So they still have to get cap compliant, get below that uh, that zero number by what? Next Wednesday at 3 o'clock Central Time, I want to say, is when the yes, league sir. year opens. Yep. So let's start with Thielen here, Judd, because there's been a lot of discussion about the different things you could do. I think in a perfect world, you know, if if, if you just can't reach a you know, a middle point in the negotiation. It'd be great to trade him, but I don't know. This contract is such a mess. You know, it's a it's a $20 million cap number for this year. If you were to, let's just say, if you were to trade or cut him, and again, I, I think you and I disagree. Would a team give a sixth-round pick like the Ravens who are desperate for receivers? Maybe. 
But either way, it's kind of a mess for the Vikings. They would have to eat $13.5 million in dead cap if they traded or cut him pre-June 1st. But we've already seen around the league a couple examples uh, being exercised. You can post-June 1st designate someone to be cut. They have the freedom to sign with whatever team they want to. You get the cap savings. But the problem with that is, so if you do a post-June 1st cut right now, you could do it today and say, Adam, thank you so much. We love you. We're going we're gonna to cut you post-June 1st designation. You would then save $13.5 million to the salary cap. I'm going to click this right now, okay? Submit, and you see the cap space at the top of the screen goes from uh, $16 million over to $2 million over. Awesome, right? No. But that just pushed seven million in cap, dead cap to your yeah. 2024 books. Yeah. So with Thielen, would you rather rip the band-aid off? Yes. Eat a bunch this year and be free from it, or would you rather get more flexibility for this March free agency period? That's the question. I would far prefer to rip the band-aid off. Just be done with it. I think they might differ from that. And I think that there's a good chance that because you you can you can post date uh, two two June first contracts, um, and I think the Vikings might do that. But I would personally just prefer to be done with it, take the cap pain right now or the dead cap pain right now, and uh, then I'm then I don't have to be concerned about this in 2024. Okay, I think I would lean that direction too. This is the balance you're trying to clean up. You're trying to clean up your cap situation for beyond 2023 to make room for the Derisaw extension, for the Justin Jefferson extension, right? Right. Brian O'Neill is you're going to restructure his to have to have a lower cap hit this year. In fact, we can do that right now too. We could just do. Uh, so let's let's agree. We're playing playing GM here. Adam Thielen swallow the 13 and a half this year. You still save six and a half, but he'd be off your team and off your books. Beyond yep. 2023. Yep, it's over. Okay. And then send out a nice Instagram picture and graphic right. and, you know, have quotes from the Will family and KOC and whoever the hell else, Quasi. Maybe some former teammates can chime in, the Kyle Rudolph of the world. You can celebrate yep. him. Right? And then he, he can go become a Packer. Man, I think vindictively he would probably love to do that, right? Especially, oh, yeah. if, but he wouldn't do it unless Aaron Rodgers stuck in Green Bay. Right. Yeah. If if Roger stayed in Green Bay, Thielen would say, "All right, let's do this together." These guys, these guys don't know what I'm worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably true. Okay, Brian O'Neill. So now we're so we just did that with Thielen. We're still nine and a half million dollars over the cap. Brian O'Neill, you can actually you don't even need his permission. You can just go to Brian O'Neill and his agent, or not. You could just do it. You know, you could do a simple restructure here. So he has a thirteen and a half million dollar base. Uh, and he's got the, what does he have here? So you could take his base salary here, convert the whole thing to a signing bonus, boom, and you save $10 million to the salary cap. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if um, if th that has taken place, mm -hmm. but it's going to take place for sure. There's no way you can't do that. It makes too much sense. So right? those two moves right there get you cap compliant. Adam Thielen cut... Brian O'Neill restructure. Yep. It doesn't get you money to spend on free agents, yeah, but it, it gets starting. you to where you have to be in a week from now. We're only just starting with the business decisions right now. I love this. Well, go ahead. You pick the next. What's the next business decision here? Uh, Zadarius Smith, I am done with. Okay. In what In what uh, way? Just a straight up, a straight up cut? A, a cut or trade. But I, I think it's the same. I think as far as my same thing for him. Sure. That's fine. So it's a pre-June first trade. Yep, which means you're going to save twelve point one. Huge savings. You're going to eat three, and maybe you wind up getting a draft pick back in return. Sure. All right. We'll click submit. So now we are thirteen point two million dollars below the salary cap. We got we got room for maybe now you got to make room for a first round draft pick, but this might get you uh, a starting cornerback in free agency. Now I'm shooting for a restructure on Harry. So Harrison Smith, I I'm not going to like take that cap. Super hit, dicey. But I'd prefer not to I'd prefer not to release him. I think he has value. So you'd be taking here 
basically taking his base salary from 2023, which is and and so it, it's a 14.7 million base. You can take 13 and a half of it because he has to have a base salary. I yep. think he has to have at least a million dollar base salary. Yep. And you take part of that base salary or almost all of it and you convert it to a signing bonus. But I think the restructure on him would be even yes, exactly. more complicated. It would be like take less take less base and yes. we restructure, right? Yes. He he would be he would be restructured into a different tax bracket. Yeah. <laughs> That's what would happen here. So so I would not be saying, hey, let's work with your current contract. I'd be saying you're taking a pay cut. But I think he might do that. I, I think there's a there's a good chance he'll do that. So for the purposes of this exercise, we'll, we'll just take, because we don't know what shape this is going to be. The, who knows what both sides are, are looking at right now. So let's just sure. let's just do the simple restructure here. Okay. And I'll show you why this is kind of problematic. But um, so we'll do that. Okay, so the Vikings, now we have two, uh, 22 and a half million in cap space. But as you look forward, this is the problem. Now I'm on the, if you can see on the screen here, I've clicked to the 2024 books. Where now Harrison Smith's cap number next year is twenty three million dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah. In two thousand twenty five, it's twenty seven million dollars. Yeah, and Brian O'Neill's is bloated too because you've taken a bunch of money from this year and shoved it into future years. The O'Neill thing is is a real thing or a problem potentially. So the Smith thing we just don't know because his his contract will just be slashed. Mm -hmm. So that's the one I'm, I'm not as concerned, you know, for, for the purposes of this exercise, we can't know exactly what the contract is going to be, but that doesn't concern me because the reality is I'm, I'm going to largely uh, get that salary and eventual cap hits down. So it's hard to tell what that's going to be, but I'm not that concerned by the forecast of this exercise because that's just a old school Chad Greenway. Your pay is yeah. being slashed. Yeah, uh, and then a, co a couple more here, and we'll and and we can keep doing this exercise as more moves come in to sort of see all right what's next. Yeah, I'm going to make an easy one here. I know that CJ Ham is a great locker room guy. He's sort of a beloved cult figure among Vikings fans, but they barely used him last year. Actually, have the reports are he is coming back for sure. But there's got to be some sort of. Do you think he's coming back on the same number, three point eight million? They literally. He only played like I fifteen or twenty percent of the snaps, right? I would not do that, but I, I, yeah. Okay, well I'm then, just if, saying, but if, the, if that's what, yeah, if that's, that's what the buzz is, that's it. Sounds like Jordan you know, Ben Gessling reported that, so yeah. So Jordan, Jordan Hicks, Hicks gone. you think he's just straight up cut? Oh, oh he's yeah. gone. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. I'll drive him to the airport. So that'll save you. Let's see here. Whoops. Uh, so we're gonna submit that one. Uh, that'll save you five million more. So you're going to eat one point five, but you save five million. So now we are twenty seven and a half million dollars under the cap. Yep. Okay. Dalvin Cook. What do you I think mean, happens? Personally, trade or cut. But but what do you what do you think they do? Tom Pelissera reported that he's. I know. So I don't know. He's sticking around, man. I, I at a don't fourteen know. million dollar cap hit. I know. You want to see what happens if you restructure his ten million dollar base? Kick some more money down the road. No, I don't. Let's do it. I'm done Let's kick him. some money. It's All right. We just restructured over. him. We just saved $6.2 million by kicking. And now what's his cap hit next year? $18.9 million cap hit next year if you just... But you can just worry about it later, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Worry about it later. Just worry about it later. Just, and then yeah. his cap hit the next year would be $17.8 million when he's 30 70, years old. 74 years old. This okay. is the problem. You can't do this. You can't I agree. do this. I'm, I'm with you. If you cut him... I just want to be done with him. Or trade him, you would eat, this is the problem too, you would eat $8 million and save six. So there's really no, it, economically, it actually makes more sense next year, but then you're also playing him on a $14 million cap hit when you need to create some space. So it's a complicated one. Daniil Hunter gets extended, I, I believe. Okay. And and so they'll... they'll um, Definitely get him more cash for 2023 yeah. and change that cap hit for sure. And TJ probably goes Hawkinson up, right? Gets extended. No, so, they'll they'll bring his cap hit down because the extension will allow them to bring it down for 23. I just think it's tough because if you're trying to get Daniil to like 20 million dollars a year, I guess you could you could you could initially get him like a signing bonus or something um, in a low base to get the the cap number down from 13 and TJ Hawkinson. That's a pretty easy one too. It's, yeah, it's an extension. 
he's young enough to where you can shove money into the age 27, 28, 29 seasons. So maybe you come down, you know, between those two, maybe you come down $5 million in cap. That puts you at like $32 million. What, so Why is Dalvin on this list? Tomlinson, I'm sorry, not Cook. Uh, because his cap his, his cap hold is $7.5 million. Okay, gotcha. It's the, gotcha. It's, yep. it isn't like, didn't they extend the date they to like March 15th correct. or something? Correct, you, yep. You're right. So the problem is if you if you cut him, you still owe seven point five million. So there's incentive to just like figure out a two or yes. three year extension with Delvin Tomlinson. So so that's kind of and we don't have to go through the rest of it, but that that's kind of your path to going from fifteen or sixteen million over the cap to freeing up enough space to maybe sign a couple players yep. in uh, in free agency. Now T- Tomlinson though is a free agent, correct? So if they don't extend him, they take the cap hit, but he walks. That is correct. Okay. All right. Yep. And I think they built a couple of void years into they love doing the void years now. Like just the void keep years. shoving yeah. money into future Sick seasons. Void years. <laughs> Sick of the void years. Sick of the void years. Sick of the void years. Very tired right. of the void years. Well, we're gonna we're on it. We're gonna keep you guys posted. Anything that uh that moves or breathes as far as Vikings transactions or rumors, we will discuss here. We are your home for Vikings off season speculation. All right. If you are Triggered by speculation, just know this is a safe space, okay? Yep. You can throw out trade ideas. This is all about how to make the Vikings a better team uh, to potentially maybe win a Super Bowl at some point, right? That's what they're talking about, and that's what we like to talk about on the show. Write that down, predictions on Mackie and Judd and an accountability session, and we'll see you guys tomorrow here on Daily Vikings Entertainment, Purple Daily.